All right, all right. <laughs> I'm on a Facebook Live and um, YouTube. I'm trying to get my YouTube up. I'm learning all this tech savvy stuff. So I'm going to give some time for people to come in. I'm doing um, live numerology readings for next year, for the upcoming year. So I'm going to give people some time to come in. I'm going to get my energy together. Um, let me just change the description of this. Hey, I see someone in here already. <laughs> peace, peace. Um, let me see. Let's put live. Giving people some time to come in. Working on getting this uh, YouTube up. It's still loading. It's taking a while. 2021. Um, we're going to focus today on personal year cycles. So feel free to share this video. Feel free to type in your um your date of birth donations are also accepted um via cash app or venmo let me just put that also let me put that in the comments peace <laughs> let me see uh see if i can get to the comments in here while i'm this way here we go um donations Donations are not required today, but they are uh, they will be accepted um, via Cash App. Um, my Cash App is dollar sign A Zabriskie <laughs> or Venmo. Venmo is um, my first and last name. I'm typing all of that in the chat now. So we're going to, I'm going to actually begin with a prayer in the form of a song so that we can get ready to do what we do <laughs> all right let's get the vibration right you guys let's get the vibration right and ready for the readings my youtube's taking forever i gotta get a better computer it's slacking <sighs> so we're gonna start off by breathing turn the sound off my phone so I'm not constantly being being interrupted uh, okay thank y'all for the love we're gonna start by breathing I have my little sound bowl here Escondida 
en la tierra, en las plantas, bajo el fuego, bajo el agua. Ábrete corazón, ábrete sentimientos, ábrete entendimiento. Deja a un lado la razón y dejar brillar el sol escondido en tu interior. Es tiempo ya, ya es ahora, ábrete corazón y recuerda como el espíritu cura. Como el amor sana, como el árbol florece, la vida perdura. Que para llegar a Dios hay que aprender a ser humano. Okay, just wanted to get the vibration right. <laughs> um, that's a song, it's a Icaro, called Abrete Corazón, which means open up your heart. Um, abrete Corazón, Abrete Sentimientos, Abrete Entendimiento. Um, open up your heart, open up your, your ability to feel. Um, open up your understanding. Deja un lado la razón. Leave behind your... Um, your reasoning, you know, and there's a part of the song that I sung that says, um, or the prayer that I sung that says, Abrete memoria antigua, which means open up to your ancient memory. All right, so you guys can feel free to start typing in your birthdays. I have my paper and I have my pen. So we're going to focus um, today on personal year cycles. What personal year cycles are, um, every year, everyone enters into, when their birthday comes, a different personal year cycle. It kind of sets the tone in numerology on how the whole year as a whole is supposed to go. Um, and so you go through, everybody goes through every number. One through nine is what's recognized typically in numerology. So you go through one through nine, then you also have the master number cycles um, that you go through. So with the personal year cycle, it's kind of... Um, an indication on how you should be, what you should be doing um, next year or what you should be focusing on this year. So when you guys enter your birth dates, um, I'll go into each person's personal year cycle. Donations are accepted, but they're not required. Um, where you can donate at is written in the chat. Um, let me stop saying um, I have a problem saying um. <laughs> but um, see that? But <laughs> so feel free to type in your birthdays um, and I'll go into what um, what direction you should probably go in based on the numbers next year. Now, of course, our lives, um, everybody's live, life's lives are comprised of more than numbers, but numbers are very significant. Numbers are very important. Um, numbers also provide everyone uh -huh. with um, a level of guidance on different things. Just like people look into astrology, numerology is also something that's very um, important because numbers are around us. As my numerology teacher, um, one of my numerology teachers have, has told me, you can't really do anything in life without numbers. You need numbers to calculate everything. You need numbers to know how much of something uh, to get paper, to, like your paycheck. You need numbers um, to tell the time, like numbers are everywhere and numbers, each number holds a different vibration. Everything in existence holds a different vibration, whether it be something like water, whether it be something like the wooden table, everything has a vibration to it and numbers also too um, do as well. So feel free to type in your birthday. What I would need for your personal year cycle is I would need just your month and day. 
I don't need your um your year of birth. I just need the month and day. So for example, I'm born July 15th. So I would just put 715 and then I'll go into the calculations on my paper and pen right here to go into uh, what the personal year cycle for you is. So feel free to jump in at any time. Let me see. I don't know if anyone's written their, uh, their birthday down yet. But it's just basically providing guidance for um, the upcoming year. So feel free to type in your birthday, um, just the day and the month again, the month and the day. Let's see. Hey, Lelia. <laughs> How are you? Oh, Dr. McCall, 424. So you're going to be my first one. All right. So let me do your calculations on the personal year cycle that you're going to be in in 2021 as of your birthday. One, two, well, that's four. Mm hmm. Six, five. Ah. So, Dr. McCall, as of your birthday, you are going into a number six cycle next year. And next year is a five um, year. This year, 2020, is a four year, but next year is a five year. And five and six are relatively friendly numbers to each other. Um, your sixth cycle is a cycle where it's very important for you to connect and bond with family next year, especially. Uh -huh. um, it's also very important to um, forgive, practice forgiveness of your family next year. Six is a number that deals with love. It's a number that deals with family. Six also um, rules sinus issues. So you want to make sure that you're taking care of your upper respiratory health. Um during next year, especially, so that you're not uh, causing any sinus issues and things around here, headaches, anything dealing with the head, the head ears, nose and throat, the eyes, all of that is all connected with each other. Uh -huh. um, six is a very loving cycle. Um, <laughs> that's a time, hey sis, that's a time of a lot of romance. So that would be a great time for you to romance and take your wife out even more and just enjoy each other's space and just enjoy love. Um, if you're thinking about going back to school, six is one of those cycles that deals with, um, with school. Thank you, Maya. Maya, it's, uh, it's uh, actually uh, feathers, but not like a regular hair accessory. It's a cultural thing, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, but six also deals with, um, school and education. So if you are thinking about going back to school, if you are, if you have been thinking about doing any kind of educational programs or certification, next year will be a great year to start doing that um, because of the vibration of that year. Um, six has a lot of uh, love in that number. I'm extra partial to the six because I'm a number six. Um, so I love the number six, even though six can be kind of wacky and crazy. That's a year also for you to not be um, stubborn. Don't be stubborn that year. Um, <laughs> that's also um, a pregnancy cycle. Even though you're a man, uh, you may, if you and your wife, you know, are trying to conceive, that may be a time that you may conceive around that year. So <laughs> just passing on that information. And I thank you so much for the love, Dr. McCall. Feel free to type in any questions or anything um, that you want to ask or say or any feedback. Feel free. I see someone else typed in a birthday, Lelia. So I'm going to do your calculations. 831. I thank y'all for your patience with me too. I'm so nervous, y'all, but I'm going to work through it. <laughs> Ah, Lelia. Next year, as of your birthday, you enter an eight cycle. So with the eight personal year cycle, that's a cycle where you can build and build big business and make a lot of money. You can make a lot of money or you can lose a lot of money during the eight cycle. Um five the I'm going to bring in um, different things as I'm, as I'm going, but if y'all not following me, please let me know. <laughs> so this year is a five vibration year, as I was saying earlier. 
This year is a four vibration year. Five is a number, I'm going to jump back into eight, but five is a number that deals with a lot of communication, a lot of popularity, like social butterfly kind of things on a higher vibration. So that's a, a year where you can really put your businesses out there because you're going to be in the eight cycle. And the eight cycle deals with big business. The eight cycle deals with um, tradition, family traditions. The eight cycle also deals with... Um, losses so that may be a year where you um may possibly lose some people um but uh, you know once you know this ahead of time you know how to prepare yourself um eight cycle you can manifest money very quickly or you can lose it very quickly it's all in how you deal with your money and eight cycle is also um in the eight cycle you find out or you things start to manifest from all the cycles before. So say, for example, if you've been working on your healing business for like the last seven years, eight cycle is a cycle where it will boom the most. That's the cycle where it will be like, you know what I mean? Where it can boom the most. So really put yourself out there business wise and really promote yourself um, next year, especially after your birthday. So the, the yearly cycles, the personal year cycles, really start after your birthday, but different numerologists say different things. You'll start to feel the effect of the next cycle prior to um, your birthday, but you're officially in that cycle on your birthday. Eight cycle is also a karmic cycle. So you want to be very careful on the thoughts that you have about others, the thoughts that you have about yourself, and the words that you speak to others and the words that you speak about yourself. Because it comes back around very, very, very fast in the eight cycle. Um, for an example, um, you can think something negative about somebody, but you'll, you'll, you'll flip it on yourself during the eight cycle. <laughs> so you might be like, hmm, I hope she lose her, her purse or whatever. And then you'd be the one to lose your purse. You know what I mean? So the eight cycle is very powerful, very beautiful cycle. Um, you're a number four based on your birthday. So... That's a time for discipline for you. Um, get ordered, get structured, get disciplined with yourself because it will definitely pay off during that eight cycle. And jumping back to Dr. McCall, I just happened to glance at something else with your numbers. Next year is going to be a real good year for you, Dr. McCall. I just wanted to add that in there um, because you are born under the number six and that's going to be a six year for you. So Expect a lot of positivity, a lot of love, people showing you love, and show a lot of love to others like you always do. <laughs> Let me see. Hey, cuz Shaquan. Shaquan, type in your birthday. <laughs> Thank you, my sister. Thank you, precious. Precious, that's my real sister, my blood sister. Oh man. Feel free to type in your birthday. I'm only going until uh, 710 today. Um, feel free if you want to give any donations, feel free. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Aho. Aho. My grandmother's ancestry, we say aho. Aho means um, I agree or amen in um, the Suan language. So let me see. I see my cousin Shaquan put 10, 27. Okay. Let's do 20, 21. Eight, four, five, two. Eight, eight, 16, 15. Oh, wow. So, Shaquan, you're going to be in the same cycle as Dr. McCall, that number six cycle that I was speaking of earlier. If you're not in a relationship, that's also a cycle where you usually find relationships. Um, a lot more, um, you're going to get a lot more attraction in that year, this year and, and that year and next year, because <laughs> during the five and six cycles, that's when you just be extra fine <laughs> to people and you get a lot more of um, attention during the five and the six cycles. Um, so if you are not in a relationship, see, I didn't go into finding someone with Dr. McCall because Dr. McCall is already married. <laughs> he already found someone. But with you, because if you haven't found anyone, that will be on a very a very attractive year where you might get into a relationship that year. But you also need to be careful because, like I was saying earlier, that's a pregnancy cycle. Um, 
And also during the cycles, the pregnancy cycles, that doesn't always mean physical pregnancy. That could also mean a rebirth of ideas, of different things, of business. It can be um, pregnant with ideas, not necessarily always pregnant with, you know, a baby. <laughs> um Six cycle, that's a very loving cycle. You also have to practice uh, not having jealousy during that cycle. Um, six is a number where you also, it also deals with family heavily. So that's a year that you want to practice um, forgiveness of family, um, forgiveness of yourself. Because forgiveness is a, is a twofold kind of thing. We always are taught to forgive everyone else but a lot of times it's hard to forgive because we haven't forgiven ourselves and once you give yourself that forgiveness you know it's easier to understand what forgiveness and understand what forgiveness is really all about it's never for the other person it's always about you so that you don't hold these things in and it doesn't manifest in ugly ways in ourselves um but yeah that six cycle everything i suffered dr mccall pretty much applies to you as well um be mindful of your sinuses during the six cycle oh Lelia, during your eighth cycle, be mindful of your health as well. Um, because during the eighth cycle, if you get sick, the doctors during certain cycles, like the eighth cycle, like the fourth cycle, they never quite diagnose you properly a lot of times. They don't know what the hell you have. They don't know what the hell you have. So you definitely have to take care of your overall health um, during those eight cycles, during the fourth cycle, things like that. Thank you so much, y'all. I really appreciate all the support. Um, Miss Carol, how you doing? You just need your, um, your, your month and day. Um, yes, six cycle. Thank you, Shaykwa. <laughs> six cycle sinus issues. You want to be mindful um, of your sinuses and things that you're taking in um, during that six cycle. Yeah, see, you're having hella sinus issues because you're going into your, your six cycle soon. As of next year, you're in your six cycle, especially as of your birthday. And you got to make sure that you keep all of this clear. Think about the number six. The six is kind of shaped like a nose. And so a lot of people born under the number six or when people are in this six cycle, they tend to have a lot more allergy issues. They tend to have a lot more sinus issues and things like that. So you want to make sure that you take care of your nerves, take care of your sinuses, take care of um, your central nervous system. Um, certain herbs are really good for that. Certain herbs like chaparral, certain herbs like marshmallow root. Certain herbs. Oh, yeah, Dr. McCall, you probably always have sinus issues because you wanted a number six like me. <laughs> and I always used to have sinus issues. And every now and then they, they bother me. But um, also, for me personally, what triggers a lot of my sinus issues is like dirt, dust, um, being around things like that, but also dairy. I'm super, super highly allergic to dairy. Even when I used to eat meat, always super highly allergic. It will cause a sinus infection instead of diarrhea like a lot of people would get. But um, people on the sixth cycle or people born under the number six or have certain six and certain placements in their numerology chart have to be mindful of sinus issues. Definitely take care of those nerves. Um, steaming might also help when you have the sinus issues. Steaming. Um, doing something like putting lemon or lime inside of your water because that also helps to get out some of that mucus that's in the system. Okay, Miss Carol is ready. I remember your birthday, Miss Carol. <laughs> so we're gonna go into Miss Carol. Feel free to type in any questions or anything um, that y'all wanna put. Type in 11, 12, 3, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, Miss Carol, next year you are going to be in a number seven cycle. No problem. Thank you. Thank y'all for listening. Um, you are, and I got you, Nadie Como Yo. I got you, girl. I got you, Erin. <laughs> um, oh, the Cash App and the Venmo um, is linked inside of the, um, in the beginning of the chat. That was like one of the first things I put in there. So if you need that, it's at the top. Um, so, Miss Carol, you are entering your seven cycle as of your birthday next year. Seven cycle is a heavy cycle. That's a cycle that deals with a lot of um, solitude and that's also a travel number so that's a good year for you to travel but that's a good year for you to travel alone 
You're going to want to feel like you want to take trips and be by yourself during the seven cycle. Do a lot of introspection and in-depth thought about things in life, about people in your life, just reevaluating, reevaluating um, things within yourself, reevaluating the people around you, just reevaluating life. It's a lot of thinking in that seven cycle. Seven is also a very special cycle where you can manifest things very quickly, very easily. So like Lelia, you're going into your eighth cycle next year. You're currently in your seventh cycle. So you're still at that stage where you can manifest things as well. So some of what I'm going to tell Miss Carol also applies to you. Um, but seven cycle is the type of cycle where you think of something that you want and you speak it out into the ethers in the universe and you can literally manifest it quickly. Um, it's a cycle where there's going to be a lot of worrying, overthinking, but you don't need to do that. You have to trust that um, whatever you believe in, the creator, whomever you believe in or whatever you believe in has your back and that you are protected. So you don't have to constantly overanalyze during that seven cycle. Um, seven cycle also deals with, I've mentioned solitude. You also have to be mindful of your thinking about yourself and your thinking about others. Um, because seven is a number that's a very spiritual number. That's a number where you're going to have to, like, you're going to be able to really tap into your intuition. Like you might even have very vivid dreams, see things before they happen, just feel things and know things. And you're already a cancer like me. So we already, um, tend to be spiritually inclined and already very, um, very emotional, but very sensitive to things, very, um, Feeling a lot of things and just knowing things is kind of a cancer thing. Um, but while you're in your seventh cycle, it's very important for you to um, not overanalyze too much. It's no problem going into in-depth thought, but don't overanalyze too much, especially you being born under the number four, because there's going to be a lot of shit on your mind next year like crazy. You're going to be like constantly thinking, constantly thinking, and you have to practice turning that off. So you can have peace of mind, turning it off so you can sleep. Um, meditation will be very excellent for you to go into during your seven cycle. And the worrying is also important not to do because the worrying can bring about illness during your seven cycle. So you definitely do not want to be, you know, worrying all the time during that cycle. Give your, your mind time to rest. Um, let me see. If you have any questions, feel, feel free and I can, you know, go more in depth with the different cycles. Let's see. I seen uh, Erin had her um, birthday. Let me see. 5-30-2021. 5. Oh. So Erin, you are going to be in a number four cycle next year. So the fourth cycle deals with building a foundation for yourself. If you ever look at the number four, it almost looks like a square, like an incomplete square. And squares are known to be kind of rigid because they have angles. The fourth cycle is very important to build a foundation for yourself, to build a foundation for yourself. And you're going to be in um, number 13 is the compound number. So you're going to be in a 13, four cycle, which means that that's the time for you to build a foundation for yourself and for your family and build a legacy during that time. Um, that's the time where you start planting the seeds into different ideas and things that you may have. You know what I mean? If you want to do a different type of business, if you want to, if there's some type of thing that you've been wanting to do for a while, that's the time to really get in the grassroots of that, um, during that four cycle. Four is another cycle that deals with a lot of mental energy as well. So you want to make sure that you keep your mind um, focused and that you also um, are not overthinking in the four cycle because the four cycle can even, um, uh oh, I keep losing the video. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Carol. The four cycle um, can also bring about a lot of. Um, over analyzing, overthinking, second guessing yourself with that number. 
So you want to be mindful of that. You know what I mean? If you watch a lot of people that's one under the number four, they kind of have this very analytical mind, fours and sevens, where they'll be like, hmm, I can't, they said it was okay, but I wonder, is it really okay? Because that, like their mind just goes into all of that. So you want to make sure, nothing wrong with being analytical, but you don't want to overanalyze stuff. Also in the fourth cycle, you want to take care of your health. That's one of the health cycles, like um, that's a health cycle number. So a lot of people start to have health issues um, come out around their fourth cycle. And with the fourth cycle and with the eighth cycle, you always want to make sure that you're taking general care of your health because you'll go to the doctors and the doctors will very commonly misdiagnose people when they're in their fourth cycle, when they're in the eighth cycle, or if they're born under either of those numbers. So they'll be like, I think you have this. If you go to the doctor a lot of times when you're sick or you have a cold, what's one of the first things they say? They say, oh, I think it's viral. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> does that mean it's a virus? What, what does that mean? You know, it's a very unclear answer. So when you're in that fourth cycle, you can get a lot of unclear answers. So you want to make sure that you're taking care of your overall health. Um, eating lots of fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, raw fruits, raw vegetables, drinking lots of water. It's very important for you to drink lots of water um, during that cycle. Aho, aho. <laughs> Somebody just said cash out. I appreciate it, y'all. Um, so... Yes, definitely take care of your health, build a foundation for yourself during that four cycle. That's the time to really discipline yourself because four deals with discipline, order, and structure. That's why it's shaped kind of like a square. Discipline, order, structure. So that's the time to get disciplined with yourself. That's the time for you to... Uh, <laughs> Thank you. That's the time for you to also, um, it say, for example, if you have a procrastination habit or you've been kind of delaying things, that's the time to get serious with yourself. Like, okay, I'm going to start this and get this started. You know what I mean? I'm going to, okay, I want to do this business. I want to build this nonprofit. I'm going to do that and get that started now. During the fourth cycle, that's that foundation building cycle. So you definitely want to start doing those things. Okay. <laughs> Um, yes. Anybody else? You only need your birth, um, number, your, sorry, your month and day for the personal year cycles. I'm just focusing on personal year. I tend to drift off into other things with the numbers sometimes because I see so many things with the numbers, but I'm just focusing on personal year cycles in particular today because it, it I'll be here all day going into, <laughs> going into numbers and going into all kind of stuff. But yeah, um, definitely discipline, discipline at four cycle. My mother's in here. Hi, mommy. <laughs> she said, hey, I believe you told me I was in my eighth cycle until my birthday. Yes, that's right, mommy. You are in your eighth cycle. Me and you are always in the same personal year cycle. We so connected. <laughs> also, is there a nine cycle? Yes, there is. So as you know, mommy, when your well, when your birthday comes, you will be entering your nine personal year cycle. Nine is a very interesting personal year cycle because nine is a personal year cycle of leadership. That's the time to bring out the inner leader in yourself. That's the time to um to really own that authority within yourself. But that's the time to also be mindful of being argumentative and getting into petty arguments. And as you've always taught me, mommy, to pick your battles. That's the time that you're really going to have to pick your battles with people. <laughs> Nine cycle is also important to um, finish things that you started. So anything that you already did or started or wanted to start, but you didn't finish it, you have to complete those things during that nine cycle. It's the best time to do that. Nine cycle is also a time, it is also a time when people tend to uh, sometimes lose people as well. Um, however, nine is right before it goes back to one in the morality. So you're about to start a new beginning after that year. So you have to finish up the things that you've been doing. So things that you've been wanting to do for your retirement, things you've been wanting to do for your job. It's very important um, during that nine cycle. I also personally... Um, believe that nine cycle also deals with blood pressure. A lot of people talk about the three dealing with blood pressure, which also deals with blood pressure, but nine does too. So you have to also um, make sure that you're not getting very worked up during your nine cycle when things get frustrating. And it's also a number of secret 
um, what my teachers, one of my teachers would call, um, a couple of my teachers would call secret haters, secret hater numbers. So that's the time where you may have people who are a little envious of the things that you're doing and the things that you have accomplished, but you don't pay them no mind. You keep on doing what you're doing and you just eye that. You know what I mean? And you recognize it for what it is and you continue on your path and walk in your leadership and your power and your divinity. Okay. Uh, so that's for you, mom. <laughs> uh, I see Sierra Roberts. She said 1123. Let's see what personal year cycle you're in, Sierra. How you doing, Sierra? I ain't see you since high school. <laughs> I see your beautiful babies on Facebook. Four, five, four, five, two. Mm hmm. 10, 2, 12, 3. So, Sierra, you're going to be entering, as of your birthday, into the number 3 cycle. 3 is a very popular and outspoken number. That's the number of a social butterfly. Next year can be a little bit challenging at times for you because next year is going to be a 5 vibrational year. And three and five are opposites, even though they have so many similarities. But you are also born on the 23rd, which is a five. Which So next year can also be a very powerful and good year for you as well. What I would say to do is um, try not to get caught up in drama next year. Drama, controversy, people trying to bring your name and stuff. Try not to get caught up in too much drama and um, gossip. That's the word that I'm looking for next year. Um, that's going to be a year where it's going to be a lot of chit chatter, but you want to make sure that, you know, you don't allow it to go into a point where it can lead to unnecessary drama. Um, three is also a very creative year. So that's a year where you, you need to tap into your creativity, sis. You know, um, you need to be more um, okay with being outspoken and speaking your truth and speaking how you feel, but just use your words with tact that year. Use your words with tact so you're not um, just being harsh to people, but you are speaking your truth open and honestly. Um, also be mindful of your blood pressure next year so that you don't have any low blood pressure issues, which is uh, very common with that number three. Um, and... If you're into anything dealing with something like public speaking, you're into anything dealing with, oh wait, oh, I got some other people I'll skip, sorry. Um, anything dealing with public speaking, anything um, dealing with putting yourself out there, that's the time to do it. You know what I mean? You're number five, three. You actually should write a book with the numbers that you have <laughs> that I'm seeing in your birthday and also in your personal year cycle. If you're interested, that's when you should start writing your book next year. If you're interested in writing a book, it can be about anything. Yes. Somebody said they're having low blood pressure. Uh-huh. That number three. Yeah. So you have to be mindful of that. Um, but three is a very creative number, very outspoken number, very artsy number. Like people I notice, um, you're going to have a three is an expressive number. So like next year, you're going to have the need to really express yourself and express how you feel. It might even be expressing yourself in your clothes. You know what I mean? You might just be like, you know what? I don't want to wear these Jordans that look like this. I don't want to give me some different type of Jordans that nobody else got. You know, it is cool. You know, it, embrace that creativity in yourself. If you're any kind of artist of any kind, Sierra, if you do any kind of drawing, any kind of singing, any kind of rapping, um, poetry, anything, really tap into that next year. You know what I mean? The year that you're in now dealt with a lot of partnerships and, and duality. So you had to learn to kind of work with people. But next year, you know, and that's the year where you can express yourself a little bit more. Just just be mindful of how you express yourself. Let me see. I'm going to go to uh, Dr. Carson and then I'm going to go to um, Nadia Como Yo for your husband. For uh, Alejandro. <laughs> All right, Dr. Carson. Dr. Carson always supports me. Ah! Sorry, my phone dropped, y'all. Dr. Carson is one of the most phenomenal people I've ever met in my life. <laughs> um, 10, 13. Let me see. 4, 5, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ah! 
Dr. Carson, you are going to be in your number one cycle as of your birthday next year. Don't forget, you guys, you start feeling the effects of these cycles before your birthday, leading up into your birthday. The closer you get to your birthday. But once you're in your birthday, you're officially in that cycle. So with the number one cycle... That's a cycle for new beginnings. That's also a travel number. You should definitely travel next year. That's a cycle where you, similar in, in, to seven in the sense of you want to kind of do things by yourself. You want to kind of do your own thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. You want to kind of express in your own way. Um, but that's the time where you really also, that's another good cycle where planting the seeds of different things that you've been wanting to do. So if you've been wanting to get into gardening, that's the time to do it during that one cycle. That's a cycle where you also have to make sure that you're motivating yourself inward out. You're um, definitely um, keeping yourself motivated. I would say during that cycle, listen to a lot of motivational speakers if you're interested in that. Um, a lot of positive music, a lot of positive things so that it keeps you on your um, on your motivation to get things done. It keeps you on that power like, you know what I mean? It keeps you moving and grooving. Um, the one cycle, you have to take care of your eyes next year. Ones tend to have challenges with their eyes. You're not a number one, but you're going to be in your one cycle next year. So make sure you pay close attention to your eye health, your, you know, your optical health. What I would say to do that is making sure that you are cleansing your pancreas. Cleansing your pancreas because your eyesight is connected with your pancreas. So you want to make sure that you are taking in good herbs to um, enhance your eyesight, your vision. You want to also be mindful of things that you see, things that you take into your spirit. Because that's why TV and a lot of media gets a little dangerous because what we see, we take into our spirit. You know what I mean? Um, so you definitely want to take care of your eyesight. You can use herbs like Eyebrite. You can use um, cleansing the pancreas. Um, golden seal is very is pretty good with the pancreas. You just don't want to use golden seal too, too frequently. Uh, because golden seal is not something that you take every single day all the time. You got to give your body a little break from golden seal. Um, but there's lots of herbs to kind of cleanse that pancreas out. Uh... I would even say taking care of the kidneys, taking care of the liver during that year as well. Um, things like uh, holy, holy basil herbs, making teas out of that. Anything to protect and um, take care of your eyesight. So um, if you have or if you um, are on the border of having any issues with something like diabetes, diabetes could cause blindness eventually. So you want to make sure that you're cleansing that pancreas because that's all connected with diabetes because diabetes, the pancreas, the pancreas creates the inulin, which creates the insulin and causes you know, the insulin hormone to release from the pancreas in the body. So you want to make sure that that pancreas is being cleansed, that liver is being cleansed, those kidneys are being cleansed, and you're replacing. See, a lot of people talk about cleansing and taking things out of the body, but you also have to replace things inside the body. You don't just take things out the body. You have to put something back in the body. <laughs> so you definitely want to take in um, high minerals, um, very mineral-rich foods, stuff like... Um, Things high in zinc, things high in vitamin C, um, but also still doing that cleansing so that you're, as you're taking things out, you're replenishing with um, proper mineral balance. Uh, let me see. Oh, do you think black seed oil helps? <laughs> Dr. McCall, he said, hi, Ma. Black seed oil is very, very powerful. Black seed oil does help, but you cannot overdo it because you will eventually damage your kidneys um but black seed oil is very very powerful you don't want to take like a whole big huge spoonful especially when you first start to take it black seed oil is something that you have to um gradually increase but you still don't increase it too much so you want to take maybe a few drops of it just to start out with you don't want to go crazy with the black seed oil <laughs> um let me see. But black seed oil is very, very powerful. And you want to also give your body a break from it. Not every day for five months, you'll, you'll eventually start causing other health problems. So you want to, you know, take it maybe a good week or two and then leave it alone. You know what I mean? Give your body a break with the black seed oil. Um, let's see. Nadie como yo. 719. And then I'm going to go to Alexandra Way soon. I'm going to try to hurry up because we got to... Uh, 
<laughs> we got to uh, 710. 719. This is for Alejandro. 2021. 10, 7, 17. Six, 3, 4. So these are like little mini readings. I do full of more comprehensive readings. Um, you can definitely contact me if you want like a full-fledged um, numerology reading. But these are like little mini ones. Six plus seven. Oh, wow. So, Erin, you and Alejandro are both going to be at the same personal year cycle. <laughs> so everything I said to you applies to Alejandro as well. You and him also have to make sure that y'all have clear communication with one another. Um, because four can deal with communication challenges as well. So to make sure that y'all, if y'all have any misunderstanding, y'all talk to each other and explain and allow each other to speak and explain so that y'all can clarify any miscommunications with each other. But yeah, y'all going to be in the same cycle. And so anything I said to you, Alejandro, that's for you too. Y'all both 13-4 for the next year. But also... In addition to that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine both of your numbers together, which equals an eight. So that's a year that you guys can work on um, developing businesses together uh, <laughs> because y'all numbers together combined. Uh, yeah, that's a year where y'all definitely should work on y'all discipline, definitely work on manifesting business, manifesting money. Y'all can make a lot of money together next year. Y'all can make a lot or y'all can lose a lot. So, like, say, for example, if you're into something or you're interested in something like real estate, whatever you're into, you can definitely get into it that year. <laughs> Next year would be good because together, your numbers equal the eight vibration, which deals with money, big business. It also deals with authoritativeness. So you want to be mindful of um, how y'all talk to each other, too, you know, <laughs> so you're not like just delegating, but. You, you know, but also use that power of delegation with each other. You know what I mean? Like work together cohesively, work out any misunderstandings by talking to one another. And sometimes I do um, couples readings and stuff like that as well. But I'm not going to go into that too much because I already, it's the same exact thing. Let me see. Alex, Alexandra Wade. Okay. 7, 17, 2021. 2, 3, 4. Ah, oh, ha ha, Alexandra Wade, you are entering a master number cycle. So this is different from the readings that I've been doing so far on this. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Erin. Um, Alexandra Wade, so you are entering a master number cycle. You are entering an 11 cycle. So master numbers, in numerology, most numerologists recognize two master numbers. So in numerology, it typically goes from numbers one through nine, <clears throat> but master numbers are 11 and 22. Those are the two most commonly recognized master numbers that pretty much every numerologist recommend. I mean, rec recognizes. Some numerologists may look at 33 or 44 or other things as, as um, master numbers, but all, every numerologist recognizes 11 and 22, definitely. You're going to enter into the 11 cycle. 11 is a higher vibration of the number two. You have to be careful about what you eat in that cycle because two rules digestive issues. So 11 is two, but magnified. So it's a higher vibration of two. So anything that applies to the two cycle is going to apply to you, but magnified. It's a very powerful um, number. It's comprised of two ones. So you definitely have to be careful with your vision. But two is also a water number. So you have to drink a lot of water, Alexandra. That's going to help you with your digestion and that's going to help you with your overall health, especially next year. You have to drink a lot of water. You know what I mean? Um, constantly hydrate yourself, even with water soluble foods such as cucumbers, such as zucchini, such as apples. Lots of water-soluble foods and drinking lots of water. If you're not a person that typically likes to drink uh, regular natural water the way it is, you know, the quality of water is very important. A lot of us drink um, any kind of water because water is supposed to be water, right? And that's what's accessible. And by all means, if that's what you have, then use that. However, the quality of water is also very important because that's how we get proper hydration. So, for example, this is a Fiji bottle of water, right? The pH balance of this is 7.7. .7.
So this is a high pH balance. Mm -hmm. You want the pH balance of your water to be above seven. You want water that's naturally alkaline, not chemically enhanced, not alkaline as people done fucked with and tampered with. You want water that is naturally alkaline. Natu the best qualities of water you can get are from places like Iceland, places like um, from deep in the mountains, deep from the earth. Those are some of the best quality waters that will properly hydrate and nourish your system. Um, the 11 cycle. Next year, you have to practice discernment. You will have people that will be around you that will try to drain your energy. Um, they're going to come to you with a lot of their problems, a lot of their issues for you to come and help them out and sort out their issues for them and help them with their problems. However, and there's nothing wrong with helping people, but don't allow yourself to be drained by their energy. Don't allow people to drain you and don't allow people to misuse you and take advantage of you next year. Because people will try to do that and will try to be deceptive. You also have to practice not trying to be deceptive and pull a fast one on others next year as well. Because you're going to be entering into your 11 cycle. 11 is a powerful healing number. It's a number that deals with um, companionship. It's a number that deals with partnership you're going to have to see the thing is that's interesting is that you're born on the 17th, which tells me that you're a number eight. So you're naturally an authoritative person. But during that cycle, you have to kind of learn to step back a little bit and work with others. But you have to learn balance. You know what I mean? So it's OK to take a step back and learn to work with others, but also use that throat chakra and make sure that you're expressing yourself. When people are not doing something right, you need to express yourself. Don't hold it in and make excuses to yourself. A lot of um, people dealing with 11s and 2s, I notice, have trouble um, with understanding balance and practicing discernment, which is what I mentioned, but I'm trying to find the words. Understanding the balance of things. And um, they can sometimes be a little bit gullible and naive. So people can kind of pull them any kind of direction. And they tend to, that's the what I'm thinking of. They tend to second guess themselves a lot. And, oh, you know what I mean? And second guess their thinking. So during your two cycle, two, two and 11 is also a very powerful, very powerful intuitive numbers. Trust your intuition next year. Work with people, but trust your gut feeling about people and things around you. You know what I mean? If your spirit tell you as soon as you meet a motherfucker, I don't need to be working with that person. Trust that. Trust that. Um, yeah, that, that too, a lot of that too energy, they struggle sometimes with using their throat chakra and, and being tricked or pulled into different things. You know what I mean? And they can, uh, it, can, it can make them and put them in situations where they're even coming across kind of two-faced to people. So you want to make sure that you are using your intuition wisely and you're learning to practice discernment next year. That's going to be very important. Um, two, when you look at two, it's kind of shaped in a weird way like a colon. You cannot eat from just anybody in your two cycle. You cannot eat just from anywhere. <laughs> you got to be mindful of what you're eating and how it's prepared. Also, the energy behind people's hands when they prepare the food for y'all. You don't let just anybody prepare your food. They got a nasty attitude. Don't eat that shit. <laughs> And you've heard that from Ozma. You've heard that from me. Do not eat their stuff. If they're in a bad mood, do not eat their stuff. Your, your colon is going to be very sensitive next year to different foods. So you don't want to get food poisoning and different things. Okay? I'm sorry. I took a little log on your reading. Um, Essie, how are you? My sis from the Bahamas. How are you? <laughs> I see Jess. We're running out of time, y'all. But I'm going to hit up. I'm going to make sure I complete everybody that's here. Before I leave, even if I run a little bit over, um, Jasmine said one twenty three. Okay, twenty twenty one. How you doing, Jasmine? With your beautiful babies you got three, four, five, four. Jasmine, that personal year cycle that I just read about the eleven and the two, that also all applies to you. It's the same exact thing because you're going to be entering that eleven two cycle next year as well so um feel free when i'm when i finish the video i'm going to save it feel free to rewatch that portion of the video because that applies to you you're in the same you're going to be in the same cycle 
with the discernment and with all of that. Um, Essie is 626. Oops. 12, 13. Oops. What am I doing? There we go. I'm bugging. 4, 5, 2, 5, 8, 10. So, Essie, you're going to be in a number one cycle, just like um, the same information that I gave for Dr. Carson. Uh, number one cycle, new beginnings next year. That's also a travel number. That's a time where you need to, um, where you need to travel next year. You know what I mean? And travel, seven cycles, there's different numbers that are travel numbers. So when you're in a seven, num seven cycle, when you're in a, a nine cycle, when you're in a one cycle, those are, and five cycles, those are travel numbers. They just deal with different aspects of traveling. So if you're entering your five cycle, anybody I read, I didn't read anybody that's entering a five cycle, but if I come across anyone entering their five cycle, that's um, a good traveling cycle and a good um, cycle to promote yourself with traveling, but for short distances, like travel, um, like within the States, you know what I mean? Um, Nine, nine cycles, anybody entering the nine cycle, that's the travel number for long distances, travel to different countries, travel across the world during that nine cycle. Also, anybody entering a nine cycle, just to add to that, um, it's very important for you to do some charity work. Um, during that cycle, nine deals with and, and have like a community of of um, positive um, brothers and sisters that you can lean on that support you, truly support you, because that's a cycle that also deals with brotherly and sisterly love. That's a cycle that also deals with um, humanitarian works, charity. That's the time if you got a whole bunch of extra clothes, give them shits away during your nine cycle. <laughs> Give those things away. You know, you don't you don't need those things anymore and give, you know, good quality stuff, decent quality stuff. Um, but going back to Essie. So you're in the one cycle. That's another time to travel alone. One cycles and seven cycles travel alone for the most part. Um, that's a time to plant the seeds and, and the grassroots into different things you've been wanting to do. I know Essie is phenomenal with her yoga. You should start traveling with your yoga. Do traveling yoga retreats, Essie, if you haven't already started, mama, because you're, you're excellent. I met Essie in the Bahamas, and she we did some type of yoga, some comedic yoga, and oh my gosh, it, it was so healing for me, and I just needed to cry and all of that, you know? Um, but definitely... Start doing things to take care of yourself. When you're in those one cycles, you, Dr. Carson, that's a self-care cycle. Take care of your eyes and take care of your overall general health. That's a good, if you, if you haven't been exercising, that's the time that it's really good to start, start up exercising again. You know what I mean? Um, taking care of yourself, um, planting the seeds and things that you want to do for the next few upcoming years in the future. Definitely want to do that during those one cycles. And anything else I said earlier in the reading that pertained to Dr. Carson also pertains to you, um, Essie. Bernadette, Bernadette, you got to type in your uh, month and day. I actually said I was going to be up here to 710. I got one minute, but I'm going, I'm going to scroll through and see if anybody else has any other um, birthdays before we end. I'm going to have more times that I do this. I'm breaking the fear of it all and the nervousness of it all. So I really, really love from the heart and appreciate everybody's support. I'm pushing myself during this eight cycle. I'm going into my nine next year. I'm pushing myself to do these things. Um, feel free to also provide donation via cash app. In the very beginning of the chat, I put my cash app. I put my Venmo. Feel free. Donations are um, definitely asked for, but they're not required. Like these are mini readings. I'm going to start doing more mini readings, focusing on different aspects of the numbers and how they work in different people's lives. Um, let me see. Just got here. I hope I could save this. Hey, Jaleen. <laughs> 1111 starring yes you've been asking me about you starring so i'm gonna do yours 1111 you are emotional mama emotional and very um intuitive very intuitive let's see what personal year cycle you are entering two three four let me see two six Starring, you're going to be entering your nine personal year cycle next year. So anything I said in the video that pertains to uh, the nine cycle pertains to you. The humanitarian works. Try to not get into arguments. 
the pettiness with people. Also, when you're entering the non-cycle, you also should be mindful of police issues. Um, if you have any court issues, be mindful of that as well. You can go to a botanica store if you're interested in doing that. Um, and you can get an herb called, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's the name of that herb? I always mix it up with St. John's Wort. High John Root. There we go. You go and get some High John Root, girl, to help you in court if you ever have any court issues. <laughs> oh, you're in your eight, your nine cycle. Um, but your nine cycle deals with humanitarian works. That's going to be a time for you to activate and tap into your own leadership inside of yourself. That's also uh, um, a time where there's going to be, Ra, what's up? <laughs> That's also a time you oh, you got to um, tap into your 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 leadership qualities inside of yourself and walk in your power, but you're also going to have people who are going to be envious of you that are going to come out during that time. So be mindful of that. You know what I mean? Don't get into petty arguments. Don't feed into the nonsense. Pick your battles, as my mother would always say. Pick your battles. Everything is not worth a war. Um, that may be also a challenging year for you in particular, though, because you're born 11-11. Um, and... 11 is a number, is a higher vibration of two. It's a master version of two and two and nine are opposites. So next year might be a little challenging for you, but take it with ease because we learn the most from our most challenging times. They're not mistakes. They're not bad times. They're not fucked up times. They are times that we grow the most. When we go through traumas, when we go through different things, that's a time that if we allow it to, it can help us reach other levels of our higher self. So take in, you know what I mean? That, that's the time. It may be a little emotional for you. you. You may even lose people next year, to be honest with you, entering that nine cycle. Um, however, use your voice, you know, use your power, walk in your divinity during your nine cycle and um, embrace the challenges because the challenges are what's going to help you grow if you allow it to. They're going to help you. Um, <laughs> I swear, you know, we go through things in life and the things that we go through, I'm starting to realize in some weird way are almost like rites of passage. You know, if you allow them to be or you can either you have two choices in life. Either you stay stuck in time or <laughs> you allow the traumas and the, the hard times to help you elevate, to propel you to elevate and become a, a better version of yourself. So, you know, we have these two choices and you being a number two on a master level constantly deal with duality. You need to always be drinking water, especially being born 11-11. You need to always be drinking water. <laughs> that needs to be your best friend, you and water. Um, and you're, you're, you, you take on people's energy very easily, starring, very easily. You know, I was once told, um, because I'm someone who does that too, where after shaking people's hand, I should like clap or wipe my hands because I, I catch their energy on my hands very easily. I carry that. You know what I mean? And you don't have to carry that in your nine cycle. Nine is a number of completion and releasing. So complete things that you have started, release them. Things that have been making you emotional that aren't good for your soul, release that shit in your nine cycle. Anybody in the nine cycle, release those things that are not serving you well during your nine cycle. So you can start again this, the next year after with a new beginning. Release those things. Let those things go. Hey, Pat. Yes. Thank you, Ra. I appreciate it. Ra got some good music. Y'all better check out Ra's reps. <laughs> Yes. All right. I don't see any new birthdays. So I just want to say thanks again. I'm going to end. We will focus on personal year cycles um, for next year, next year. So let's talk really briefly before I leave about next year. So right now we are in 2020. 2020 was a very complicated year for a lot of us. But 2020 in a weird way was a blessing for a lot of us. 2020 if you take out the zeros in 2020, you have 22, which is a master number. 22 is a higher vibration of the number four. 22 can be masterful in building things, or it can be masterful in destroying things and causing destruction. 22 is also a number that rules technology. 
you notice everybody had to learn how to get on a computer myself included use the computer right <laughs> and think about when you go to the doctor and they'll go to the eye doctor they want you to have 20 20 vision so a lot of the veil of things that we thought we knew were unveiled over un, from everyone's eyes this year people are seeing things and being forced to see things for what they really are because we're in the 2020 year okay 2020 22 you can also add it together it equals 40 which is four thank you mama <laughs> four is a health number a lot of people have been coming back into their health and taking care of their health this year getting into herbs returning to pachamama like the name of my business return to pachamama pachamama is the spirit of mother nature that has always been here that will always serve us well as long as we treat the earth properly, the earth will treat us back properly well. The earth has the capacity to heal anything, anything. I don't care if you got AIDS, I don't care if you got herpes, I don't care if you got cancer, I don't care if you got mental illness. There are things in nature that can help heal you. This is the original medicine. If you believe in a creator or a God, this is God's medicine. And this is a year where people are turning back to their health. Very powerful year. 2020 paused the world so that we're able to spend more time with our families. We may have Donald Trump and all these fuckers around. Don't let that disrupt your energy. Do not allow everything going on, all the negativity in the world and the news to fuck with your mind. Don't allow it to, to take away your sanity. Because if you oversaturate yourself in all this negativity... You will bring illness. You will manifest COVID faster in yourself. You will manifest cancer faster in yourself and all other things. Because this is a spiritual war going on. This is spiritual. It's more of a spiritual world than it is physical. And what they are doing is they are fucking with people's minds and their psychology on a spiritual aspect. So this is a year where people have to be mindful of their thoughts and be mindful of what they take into their mind. And now we're entering 2021. You're going to see a lot of psychopaths reveal themselves in 2021. <laughs> that's a five year. But that's also a year of a lot of social interaction. People are going to be wanting to interact with each other. A lot of social butterflies coming out. People are going to want that connection next year. There's going to be a lot of scatteredness next year. Be prepared to be flexible next year because things are not going to always go as planned next year because we're entering the five vibration next year. Okay? Um, so I just wanted to touch a little bit on next year. We're supposed to end at, at 710, but I see some more people put some birthdays. Thank you, Durga. That's my best friend, y'all. That's my heart. That's my sister. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me, mama. <laughs> I'm going to do those last two birthdays. I'm going to do Raz and I'm going to do uh, Chazdi. Hey, Chazdi. Hey, Ra. And once that's finished, I finished for today. I got to rest. We're going to have more um, numerology readings, more live readings. Thank y'all for y'all support, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's go into, let me see. Raz said his birthday is 321. So we're going to see what's in store for Ra next year. Five, four. Ra, you entering that nine cycle too? There's a few of y'all entering that nine cycle. Oh, man. Wait, no, not nine. I'm sorry. Miscalculation. You're entering the 11 2 cycle. Oh, so all the stuff I said about people but, um, entering the 11 cycle. Remember, 11 is a master number, it's a higher vibration of the number two. That's a year where you're going to be very intuitive. That's a year where you have to practice discernment. I'm just giving a brief synopsis because I talked about it earlier in the video, so feel free to rewind back. Um, that's a year where it's important for you to practice discernment because people will try to misuse you. Everybody uses each other. That's natural. But misuse is when it becomes the problem. So don't allow people to misuse you and drain your energy. You know what I mean? Um, they're going to come to you with a lot of their problems. Ra, I need your help. Ra, I need $50. Yo, Ra, I need this. I need that. And it's okay to help people, but don't allow them to misuse you and practice discernment that year. Drink a lot of water next year, Ra. You're going to be entering uh, 11 cycle. 11 is two and two is a water number. Take care of your digestive health and take care of your vision. 
your eyesight, and your digestive health. You cannot eat from just anyone. Your colon is going to be sensitive next year. You can't eat from just anyone. You can't eat from just anywhere. You got to be mindful of how people are preparing your food. You know, um, the energy and the intention behind people preparing your food. And also, don't be afraid to speak your truth and speak up. And definitely follow your intuition next year. Chastity is 6'6". Six, six. 21, 12, 13, 3. Chastity, you are entering your 8th cycle. I spoke about the 8th cycle earlier. Next year, you are going to enter your 8th cycle. You can manifest money very quickly or you can lose it very quickly during that cycle. So all those beautiful paintings and everything, girl, start selling them paintings if you don't already do. Push them paintings, girl. <laughs> Next year, you know, put that, put it on, um, you can even put it on Facebook um, market. Your beautiful paintings that you make. You know what I mean? That's a year that those things can bring you money. It's also a karmic year, which I spoke about earlier. So you want to be mindful of how you think and speak to yourself and how you think and speak to other people. Um, because if you wish negative on other people, it will come right back around to you very fucking quick. Like my grandma used to say, you point the finger, three fingers point back at you. <laughs> you want to make sure that you are um, walking in, in, in love as much as possible and that you are... Um, not wishing or thinking. Even people get on your nerve and they do fucked up things. Let the universe handle them. Don't even, you know, d deal with all that nonsense. That's also a year for you to be, um, to tap into your authoritativeness and delegate things. Tap into your power. Eight is a number. A lot of CEOs and um, people that run big businesses have the eight in them. Um, a lot of people that do real estate have the eight vibration in them. Um, so that's a time where if you're thinking of any business ideas or anything, you can really make a lot of money during your eight cycle or you can lose a lot of money. So let me talk to y'all real quick about money. Money is an energy. It's a vibration. Everything around us that exists from these little blinds, everything is an energy or a vibration. Okay. You have to call money, call that energy to yourself. <laughs> it may sound a little weird, but money's an energy. And uh, there's a pastor that speaks about this um, on YouTube a lot. What is his name? I can't think of his name, y'all, but he's dope. He passed away. But he talks about money being a feminine energy. You manifest and bring that money. Say to yourself any kind of mantras that money is ever flowing and comes to you in abundance. You know what I mean? Start practicing those mantras during that year so you can manifest money, but also be mindful of how you spend so that you're not losing money. You want to bring more money in. You don't want to lose money because <laughs> everything has its balance. Um, during the eighth cycle, you may possibly lose someone. You may possibly lose people um, during that cycle. So prepare yourself. Remember that when people pass on, they are not dead in the way that we've always been taught. I don't believe that. Because everything that exists is energy. And energy never dies. Energy transmutes itself into other forms. So they just left in the physical sense where you can't physically see them anymore. However, they still are in existence. That's why when you talk about the person or you remember a memory, you might feel a chill in your spine. Or you might have, when you remember people in your mind, you are bringing back that energy. Their energy is around you. So they are never actually gone. Your ancestors' energy, they still exist. They are around us all the time. It is in your DNA. You are your own ancestors. <laughs> you may do things and like, I don't know why I do this, because your ancestors did it. <laughs> That's usually what it is, you know what I mean? But the eighth cycle definitely deals with money, delegation. Don't be afraid to be that leader during your eighth cycle and delegate what you need, what you need people to do. But you also, see, eight have to also be careful not to become bully-like. Because eights can become bullies or be misinterpreted as bullies at times. And even though you're not an eight, you're going to be in that eight cycle. You know, also, you're a Gemini. Gemini is ruled by the number five. Next year, we're going to be in a five year. So that's a good time for you to promote your self-chastity. 
promote your businesses or if you try to start a business do it mama do it if you want to promote your artwork you have everybody check out chastity she has chas gomez beautiful artwork that she makes beautiful paintings you know what i mean that's a gift and that's your freedom that's your creative freedom so definitely tap into that during the eighth cycle all right y'all i thank y'all so much for tuning in i really appreciate all the love i hold I hold. I'm grateful to my ancestors and I'm grateful to all of y'all and I'm grateful for the higher beings. I'm grateful for the spirit guides. Um, I started this live with a song, which is a prayer called Abrete Corazon. And it's a, um, it's a Icaro. Um, so I kind of want to end with that Icaro again, if y'all don't mind, I'm going to sing it again. So I got my little singing hole. And that's how we going to end this, on a positive vibration, on a love vibration. Ready? So we're going to take a deep breath in. I wish everyone well, sending positive healing vibrations to you all, sending love to you all. Sending gratitude to you all. May your ancestors walk with y'all and guide y'all. Deja a un lado la razón y dejar brillar el sol escondido en tu interior. Escondida en la tierra, en las plantas, bajo el fuego, bajo el agua. Ábrete corazón, ábrete sentimientos, ábrete entendimiento. Deja a un lado la razón. Y dejar brillar el sol escondido en tu interior. Es tiempo ya, ya es ahora. Ábrete corazón y recuerda como el espíritu cura, como el amor sana, como el árbol florece, la vida perdura. Que para llegar a Dios hay que aprender a ser humano. Mm. Mm. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Hey, y'all, wow, wow, hey, is what my ancestors said. Hey, y'all, wow, wow, hey. Thank y'all. Much love and peace to y'all. <laughs> Take care. I'm going to see if I can find a way to save this. I I'm learning my computer.